Hey y'all, thank you for tuning in. My name is Ayoka and I'm getting ready to bring you your daily energy update. So I'm gonna do my disclaimer and then I'm gonna jump right in. Don't forget you guys flip the rolls as you see fit. Um, I don't know whose energy is what. I'm just, you know, pretty much reading a story here. Sometimes I may not get all of your story. Sometimes I may get your whole story. However, remember, this is a collective reading. We're all on different timelines. So please stay in a positive mindset. If you want a personal reading, definitely hit the uh, link in the detail box below this video. Mm. However, again, we are on different timelines. Please take what you need, leave what you don't need, okay? I am about helping you to evolve. So basically in saying that, when you feel, think, or speak things that go against what it is you're trying to manifest for yourself, it totally is not, um, it's counterproductive to what you're trying to do in your life, okay? So here at this channel, this is what I am encouraging you guys to do. I'm not saying don't comment, you know, what you're feeling, but at the same time, please check in with your higher self before posting um, anything that goes against what you're trying to manifest for yourself, okay? So once again, we're in this to win this together. We all feel certain ways. We all um, say certain things sometimes just, you know, just saying it, but let's try to be cognizant, okay, of what it is that we are putting out into the universe, okay? Because what we're trying to attract back to us is what relationships that are in alignment with our highest good, right? Circumstances too as well, okay, honey? All right, so I'm going to say uh, my intentions before we get started and then I'll jump right in. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my angelic guys, for helping me with this daily tea. I ask that you protect us um, as we go through the spiritual gates to commune with you and close the gates to anything not in alignment. Thank you for using me as the messenger. I ask that you also close all communication to anyone who is against me or my channel. And so it is. All right, y'all. So let's see what this energy is like for you guys today. Show me what I need to see. Oh, wow. <laughs> Okay, so what I have here is the Caring Connection card that came out in the Angel of Strength. So someone definitely is having the strength here now to connect with whoever this person may be in your life, okay? So you do have a strong connection with this person. I'm definitely feeling like the, the feeling is mutual between the two, okay? Where there could have been some type of self-doubt at one point, you're now ready to go through this door to this new beginning with this person is also what I'm seeing. All right. With the contract card coming out, this is about the scales balancing. So you basically are making a decision. Okay. Now, if this isn't you again, flip the roles, right? This is someone in your life. You're now making this decision here um, to balance the scales within this connection because there was some type of injustice that was done overall. Right. Um, and I also see with the woman holding a coin, this woman is someone of value. This is someone definitely who, I, when I see this card, I think of the Queen of Pentacles um, in my traditional tarot. Okay, so it's like the same card. Very confident person, um, very self-assured, someone who definitely it offers stability, right? Offers abundance. So this is good energy coming in, not karmic energy whatsoever, right? You may have not been taking any type of action at some point when it came to this connection. Why? Because I'm also seeing another energy that's coming through. Okay, so this could be a third party type situation, but overall, because here go the action card in the reverse. But look, check this out. I got the rest and rejuvenation card that came out. So as um, I'm definitely seeing here after some time of really just thinking, um, meditating, right? And contemplating on what you should do in this particular situation. You're now ready to make these decisions, right? To make some progress with it, within this connection. You weren't taking any action. Why? Because you may have been overanalyzing it or you were trying to play it safe because of what? Past failed romantic, um, romantic, um, it don't even necessarily have to be romance, but I definitely feel like this is about a romantic situation, right? Because whatever goals you may have made for yourself in the past, when it comes to love and relationships, they fail. Okay. So, well, so you thought, right? Um, as we begin to evolve, we start to realize it's like, okay, it's literally a lot, has a lot to do with our codependencies, right? On why certain situations, um, don't succeed okay so yeah now i definitely feel like with this rust and rejuvenating there's alignment that is setting in okay 
Let's see. I'm going to pull for my traditional tarot. Show me what I need to see here for this spread. What's the message? So, Knight of Wands coming in in the reverse. So, don't forget, y'all, about the timeline. Sometimes tarot will tell us past, present, then future. But overall, I feel like someone just kept changing their mind or even just running from the commitment altogether, right? With that Knight of Wands energy. Knight of Wands energy is non-committal for real. Like, they, they always like to have fun, right? Just, let's like, let's just be out there willy-nilly in this shit, right? Enjoy your life. But, however, with the Eight of Cups here in the reverse, I see here that somebody was staying in a situation okay a karmic situation or with a karmic person because of fear literally fear of of taking the next step um in their life right which is what to gain some type of new perspective here when i see the hangman card come out in the reverse sometimes you know it's habit that keeps us from being able to see that we have other healthier options at hand okay and this is where the fear was setting in that and why there was so much waiting um a period of uncertainty for you in this connection right but i do see that that period is over why because somebody's making this decision here okay let me see. Ten of Swords came out in the reverse. Somebody wants to heal a connection with a Queen of Pentacles, Earth sign energy in an upright position. Okay, so basically this, this Queen of Pentacles here is the truth. Here we go. She came out and woman holding a coin. Queen of Pentacles, same energy. Okay, same energy. Very self-assured person, very caring person um, is, is who you are or who your person is. All right. And what I also see is like you definitely want to heal this situation. It's a lot of lessons that have been learned here. With this Ten of Swords coming out in the reverse position, that's no longer feeling like a failure. This is one of those energies here where you're like, you know what? I'm ready to heal or improve my life, my situation here. So now I'm making this decision with the Seven of Cups. All right. So you or your person here may have had a lot of options, of course, a lot. And you know, all of those options do what? Lead to some type of illusions. But now someone's ready to start being more supportive with that Six of Pentacles energy coming through. More generous, more giving into this caring connection that's love y'all it's a lot of changes that's coming through um with the situation here let me see something show me what i need to see here for this right let me tell you it seems like the energy over the last few months <laughs> has been like <gasps> tower moment tower moment <laughs> indecisiveness now someone is definitely sure about what decision to make i want to see something here yep your hard work is paying off Look, check this out your hard work is paying off and expect powerful change mm, 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 mm. i was trying to read that y'all looking inside of the camera that shit was all backwards but i got it all right so let's see tell me about your hard work is paying off Ace of Swords energy coming out in an upright position. Man, that's about clarity. This is a breakthrough. Okay, so it's been so much confusion, miscommunications, and everything. Now, I'm definitely feeling like you or your person is now facing the mirror, facing the problems, you know, gaining a new point of view. And this is what's bringing in this powerful change into this connection. Five of Cups in an upright position. Somebody is definitely clear here about... Um, you got a situation definitely clear. It, it's been a lot of disappointment and I feel like you have definitely went through a lot of grief when it comes to this. But overall, this is this feeling that I get of acceptance. You know how you just go into a state of acceptance? Like, you know, the past is the past. I got to move on from that. I got to heal from that. And this is what's literally happening here. This is straight breakthrough. That's all I'm like, shit. That's it. This is the breakthrough. You're getting your breakthrough for today, okay? And of course, if the energy doesn't happen today, it's happening. It's coming in for you, right? If this is your story. But overall, with the Eight of Swords in the reverse, somebody's releasing that shit. No longer feeling trapped. Ready to take control of their future. Page of Pentacles. 
Like, look, this is my life. I'm ready to make these plans for my future. Even though there was a lot of heartbreak, right? With the three of swords coming in. Um, third party situation definitely feel like that. That's giving me, I'm getting that vibe all over this reading. Okay. But even though the heartbreak was there, it's like the restriction is it's not, it's not even an option no more. That was what the hold up was, I feel. Look at this. Ace of Wands in an upright position. Somebody's ready to find their um, own voice or to develop this vision. Two of Swords in the reverse position. Again, decisions being made. I feel like decisions are being made. Communication is going to come through in some kind of way here. Okay. And even though, <laughs> yep, third party energy. Somebody was stuck between like two people here. And trying to be the peacemaker. But the decision, it's like some truth is being revealed here. With the chariot card coming out in the um, upright position, there's going to be some type of action that's being taken. Show me what I need to see about the star card in the reverse. Somebody's really determined and ready to overcome these challenges now. That hopelessness, thank you. With the star card in the reverse, it was some type of... It was some type of um, let me tell you what came to my mind and I, and and when it comes to reading terror and stuff it's like literally the idea that comes to your mind is what you should speak on <laughs> but it's like I don't be wanting it to be around that you know because sometimes it's just it's it's just so annoying how people be messing with spell work and stuff like that so the thing is is like that hopelessness that feeling of despair is because somebody over there doing some trickery type shit right some illusions is being done with the magician in the reverse position some manipulation is being done some deception is being done you know that's where the hopelessness was coming from all right so whatever's going on tell me about this magician in the reverse Oh, yeah. Third Pentacles, third party situation again. So whatever was happening, it's like the manipulation I see is that whoever's in this third party situation was trying to literally bring the disharmony between you and your person here. Three of Pentacles next to my Ten of Cups in the reverse. Mm. This is where all the conflict was coming from was from that situation let me i my um i forgot the name of this deck y'all but here go believe in your own magic is what it's called so let me pull something real quick because i can feel they calling me tell me about this tell me about that magician in reverse focus on your here now okay And that's what's happening. So basically, somebody is moving, was in a state of nostalgia. Um, and when I say that, it's just like thinking, brainstorming. I'm, I'm even picking up from this card, like even someone else is involved in, um, in this. Whoever this feminine energy is, is literally not focused on the here and now. Still stuck in the past, right? Still trying to manifest something from the past into their now, okay? And I, this isn't, this isn't, um, this is karmic energy that I feel is coming in. So hold on one second. It's a nostalgia card. You know how sometimes you can literally think things into existence? It's one of those type type energies it's like speaking it someone is speaking it um talking it um out with someone else and as i keep constantly speaking it's, it's almost that energy of projecting right um some daydreaming a lot of that is going on within this person i feel like it's overall even um within this this masculine energy that's coming in there could be some nostalgia there too as well daydreaming about the connection or what to do next i feel like there's daydreaming or or some type of energy work being done with that karmic situation and on top of um you my collective right coming in as this masculine person daydreaming or thinking about times from the past with this person right so it's a lot of energetic work that's being done this stuff is coming together literally from 5d because what y'all you guys are manifesting this but what i'm saying is that whatever this karmic person may have been trying to manifest 
it's the, tr the truth of the matter is that they cannot do nothing right now. They can't change what is happening in this situation. And that's what they were trying to do. They were trying to manipulate all of this. That's where this magician is coming in, in the reverse position. This is crazy energy, y'all. Literally, no matter how many scenarios that they tried to craft in their mind to improve their present situation with this person is not, it's not working. It's not working. This is not, this connection was not given to that karmic person. This was not, this was a divine connection. It was what just came through soulmate energy, but not that karmic soulmate energy. No matter what this person was doing or is trying to do, they cannot manifest this. That's why they keep, they're coming across now with um, this lack of cohesion, with this connection, with this masculine energy. It's a lot. I wasn't expecting this reading to go this way. And I'm like, I am trying to not, try not to fight against, you know, what my spirit team is definitely bringing, bringing to me. Right. And I'm just spilling it. Right. Because sometimes it's like when this karmic energy start to jump into the, into the readings, it's too much. It's a lot. But overall, right, with the sundress card that just came out here let me show y'all this one y'all see that shit just masterminding and trying to trying to bring it together shit epic fail okay sundress do it for you 41 let's see what that's about what's my time i gotta keep track gotta take my son to work so basically this overall, when it comes to your own your own personal healing and happiness, for real, make sure you're doing it for yourself. Don't do it for nobody else. Don't do this for, you know, this person. Don't do this to prove something to someone else. This is something that you got to do for you because it's about your evolution at the end of the day, right? And I feel like this is why you're starting to see a shift in your connection here with this person here um, because you're now becoming self-sufficient. You're now becoming independent, right? You're no longer being dependent on other people. And with this karmic energy, that's what's still lingering here with that person. They're codependent energy. And then you're self-sufficient. Okay, and this is also something that I'm picking up that this masculine is literally admiring. Hmm. It's all about you at the end of the day, y'all. Okay, so that's where the changes start to come in at. Um, something lovely will grow from this with the garden. And when I see that 15, I see number six. So that's all about family to me. So let me read that one. So here, either we sit around and we dwell on our pain or we learn how to grow something lovely out of it. Ready or not, it's time for the next chapter in your life. Do the things you feel you most need to do in order to aid your healing, even if it's selfish. Sometimes it needs to be a little selfish in order for it to work in the long run. Worrying about focusing on, worry about focusing on your noun. Okay, so that's what it's about, y'all. I definitely feel like majority of you have been doing that. Y'all been putting the energy back into you. It's no longer you trying to people please. It's no longer you trying to overextend yourself to other people. We're starting to now recognize here, like, wait a minute. This isn't an equal give and take type of relationship, you know, whether it's down into friendships, partnerships, um, love interests and all. It's just like now we're starting to understand here as we're starting to evolve, evolve and to love on ourselves more that, yeah, I got to stand in my integrity, right? I got to stand in my power here because I'm not happy. Thank you. Show me what I need to see here for my collective. I'm going to pull a card for that one because it says balance, spirituality, and practicality. <clears throat> I what I need to see. The end of a tough cycle approaches. So tell me about this balance, spirituality, and practicality. Thank you. Knight of Wands, energy. Okay, so basically that's just saying get clear, all right? Whatever it is that you envision for your future here, get clear about your vision, stay passionate, stay inspired, and keep moving forward, right? Because this is about what you want or what you want to achieve overall. And in order for you to be able to channel the energy in the right direction, it's going to take you to be clear, right? To have that clarity, to have the willpower to take action. And it has to be energized action, right? You see how this was in a reverse the whole time. It's like, no, that needs to be in an upright position. Go after what it is that you desire for yourself, even though 
know with this um, two of wands here in a reverse, some of you have been having a hard time or your person channeling that energy in the right direction to um, a, to resolve this obstacle. But in order to resolve it again and to make the right choice, <laughs> it's going to require you to channel that energy in the right place. So balance it. Balance your energies. I feel like that's balancing your masculine, your feminine energies here between your um your logic and your intuition. Thank you. Show me what I need to see. Yep. Don't feel don't feel insecure when it comes to this. Queen of Pentacles energy comes out in a reverse. But I definitely feel like that's more about turning that caring energy that you're trying to give into others back into yourself. All right. And to create the stability that you need for yourself here um, and, and being able to sustain it. Right. So that's the whole purpose of us going through these hard lessons and relationships and love is because we're being pushed to get to that point of our own self-sufficiency. Thank you. Tell me about this end of a tough cycle approaches. So where there was a lot of deception, right, with the Seven of Swords, whatever that may be, it all had to do with what? Codependencies, all right, with my Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. It had to do with that, you know, being very guarded, all right? So whether that's you or this person in your life, it's like once you get to that point where you move into a state of reflection and you start to see your own value and you see your own worth and you start to see that you are enough, then you're able to come forward and um, speak your truth, right? You're able to come forward to enjoy, look, the fruits of your labor because that's what it feels like you guys have been laboring in this situation. With the six of wands in a reverse position, you weren't getting recognized. Right, you weren't seeing any success come out of this. But now what I'm saying here is like you are getting ready to reach an important milestone. That's why I said, what? Expect some powerful changes. Whatever the goal is that you have set for yourself, you are on your way to achieving that goal. So keep directing your intention inward. Go inward with this, with the high priestess card in the reverse position. Eight of pen of eight of cups. This is about making a decision to go towards your higher purpose in life, right? And a part of that higher purpose in your life is this caring connection. This is a soul connection, divine connection, okay? Coming in Queen of Wands, energy um, in the upright. Be confident about it. Continue to be self-assured, right? This person definitely is very uplifting energy and they are always by your side. You were definitely stuck or this person was definitely stuck between, you know, should I work on this or should I not? And that's the honest to God truth. That's why you weren't really seeing any action. It had a lot to do with this person not being successful at love. And it, and it, and it has a lot to do with also that masculine lacking the discipline or the stability when it comes to having these caring connections. But nah, walking away. Going towards your higher purpose, letting go of what no longer serves you. That is the key, right? To developing what? Lasting, loving relationships. Um, I hear one more card calling me and then I'm going to close out. Show me what I need to see here. Look at that. <laughs> Came out again. The end of a tough cycle approaches for Moonology deck. For my angel answer deck, the same card with Caressa. It says, you are at the end of a cycle in your life. Okay? So, this next step is the happiness that you've been waiting for. <laughs> y'all, peace out, y'all. I love it. I hope you love it. I hope this message definitely resonates with you guys. But if it doesn't, it's okay. Okay? I may pick up on your energy the next time. Or, you know what? Get a personal read in. All right? Thank you so much for tuning in. I definitely love you. Peace.